Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 19 of this series. Today I'll be reading more spooky tales for you. Today's stories come from Thought Catalog. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Story number one is called Something Was Wearing Her Skin. Daddy, I had a bad dream. You blink your eyes and pull up on your elbows. Your clock glows red in the darkness. It's 3.23. Do you want to climb into bed and tell me about it? No, Daddy. The oddness of the situation wakes you up more fully. You can barely make out your daughter's pale form in the darkness of your room. Why not, sweetie? Because in my dream, when I told you about the dream, the thing wearing mommy's skin sat up. For a moment you feel paralyzed. You can't take your eyes off your daughter. The covers behind you begin to shift. Story number two is titled, Who Was Turning the Doorknob? When my family hit hard times, we had to move into a small house where our uncle had recently shot and killed himself. He had done this because of his depression after his wife had overdosed on pills and died the summer before. It all happened so quickly that when we moved in, there was still a bit of blood in one of the rooms. But on the third or fourth night of living there, my sister and I, who were sharing a room in the tiny house, were awake in our room playing video games at around 1 to 2 in the morning. Then someone knocks at our door. We didn't think anything of it and shouted for whoever was outside our door to come in. No answer. Another knock. We stop and stare at the door and another knock comes. The doorknob does a full rotation and snaps back as if someone turned it and let it go very quickly. I get up and open the door expecting to see one of my other sisters or my mother, the only other people in the house. I opened the door and stared into an empty hallway. I walked down the hall and peeked into the other room. My two younger sisters and my mother are both fast asleep. Story number three is called, Please Tell the Little Girl to Get Out of My Room. I worked night shift as a palliative care RN in a very big, very old nursing home. It's important to note that this home and the religious organization that ran it are currently part of the royal inquiry into the institutional response to the abuse of children. The nurses that had worked there for 30 plus years used to delight in telling younger staff that when it was used as a children's home, they used to bury children that died in the rose garden. This old rose garden was apparently under a newer wing of the home. At least four times in my two years of working there, we would have elderly, close to death patients wake, totally lucid in the dead of night and ask us, please tell the little girl to get out of my room or Please get that little boy out of the corner. He's looking at me. Being in this huge, dark, old, creepy building that had a very awful history, and then that happening? F that. I would never do my rounds alone when it happened. It was terrifying. It made my blood run cold, and I'd get a friend to work with me for the rest of the night. I was not the only person this happened to either. It was a regular occurrence. Well, all right, that's all from me today, guys. Check out the playlist in the description box to watch any episodes you've missed, as well as the link to my Instagram where you can see today's completed project. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay awesome.